This Labor Day, the Democratic presidential ticket is focusing on labor groups and they're working to bolster support among the unions. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris are teaming up at an event in Pittsburgh. CBS News correspondent Skylar Henry reports from the White House. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were last on stage together at the Democratic National Convention after the president's speech on night one. The two will make their first campaign appearance together since Harris was elevated to nominee later today at a union hall in Pittsburgh. Earlier, Harris was in the battleground state of Michigan, greeting workers in the union stronghold of Detroit. When I am president, we will pass the PRO Act and end union busting once and for all. Her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, met with labor leaders in his state before speaking at a Labor Day event in Milwaukee. The campaign says the Biden-Harris administration is the most pro-labor in history and claims the Trump administration was anti-worker and anti-union. Union members are an important base of support in this year's election. Very important for Democrats. It's a key part of the Biden 2020 coalition that Harris is looking to replicate this time around. Give it up for President Donald J. Trump. The Republican nominee took a break from campaigning this holiday weekend, criticizing the current administration's immigration policies at an event Friday night. Many of these people are criminals. Many of these people are coming out of, of the roughest countries in the world. The campaigns are intensifying with a little more than two months to go until Election Day. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. On the